In Excel, the index function can return the value at a given location in a range. And when we use index in Excel, we may notice there are two options, array and reference. So the reference means we can add one or more ranges. However, when we add more ranges, we need to specify which area or which range we are going to use to locate the value in this area number option. And now we are going to use two examples to illustrate how to use these two formats. The first one, we need to figure out Bianca's quiz number three grade. So Bianca quiz number three, is, it should be 94. Okay, so now if we are using the index, index, and we're going to select one range. So I would like to select this whole table comma, row number. So we know Bianca is in the second row. So we put two, comma, column number. Quiz number three is in the third column. So three, right parenthesis, hit enter. So it gives us 94, which is correct. So our format is right. Okay, and now let's take a look at the example number two. We need to figure out Justin's quiz number two grade. So Justin quiz number two is here. And but this time, let's just add more ranges to see how to use the second format. So equal index more ranges. We need to put these ranges within the parentheses. So left parentheses. The first range I would like to use first the two rows, comma, and then the second range I would like to use the left four uh, rows. So parentheses. So this is two ranges in the first input. So comma, row number. We know Justin is in the second range, and in the second row, second column. So I'm, I'm going to put 2, 2, comma, and then area in the second range. So we're going to put 2. Right parenthesis, this is complete. Hit enter. It gives us 87. So this is also correct.